Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm going to be using my multimeter and checking the diodes on this alternator. Um, I know the last video I made, I had showed you guys where I had it out the vehicle and uh, I was just saying that when the car was running, it was only pushing out 12.7. But I'm going to go a little more in debt. Uh, I'm going to be checking the diodes. What I have it on is uh, diode testing. Next thing what you want to do is you want to put your negative lead on top of the terminal. B plus and then get your red to onto the middle casing of the terminal. You want anywhere the reading to be between 400 and 800 milliamps. This is way above it. This is at 1100. It's pretty high. Um, we're going to do the same thing, but we're just going to reverse the leads, put the red on top and the black on the case. We shouldn't have any reading. It should be totally zero. That's good. That's what you want. That means that uh, the diodes are good. But when you reverse the, the, the leads, you can see it's pretty high. It's a pretty high number. You want it anywhere between 400 and 800 milliamps. So just with this simple test alone goes to prove that this alternator is bad. 90% um, of the time, you can take this casing off and replace this rectifier right here. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. I'm thinking about doing it to this one and just replacing the rectifier. And hopefully that fixes it. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out later. But uh, I just want to drop in and show you guys this little test on this alternator and let you know. Uh, with more accurate tests, you can figure out if it's good or bad instead of just going to the store and just buying another one and thinking that was a problem. All right, guys. Well, you guys have a good night and uh, thank you for watching and uh, good morning and good afternoon and whatever time you're watching this. That's going to do it and uh, see you guys on the next one.